Hello everyone and welcome to the Lay Thrum channel. In our videos we cover filming tips, tricks and techniques, equipment and product reviews and many other things that will help you in the world of filmmaking and photography. Check out our videos and don't forget to subscribe. What's up everybody? Welcome to the Lathrum channel on YouTube. Thanks for coming back. Glad to see you here. And feel free to keep coming back, quite honestly. My name is Matt, as usual, and today we're going to be covering some of the free software that you can get off the internet to assist you in making independent films. Now, it's not just that, to be quite honest with you. I'll, I mean, there are some stuff that could be used for other things, too. But, essentially, we are covering free software for filmmaking. First and foremost, we're going to get into, you know, software with those writers. We are going to be covering Celtics, or Celtics, depending on how you wish to pronounce it. Now, I realize I have covered this in previous videos, but I'll cover it again. This is a great alternative than, you know, just trying to do it in Notepad or Word something like that. This is actually formatted already for screenplays, for writing. Utilize that tool. It's free. Download it today. Yes, they do have options for, you know, uh, essentially um, add-ons where you can buy, uh, I believe one was like maybe $8 a month. The other one was like maybe $17 a month where it unlocks certain features, but you don't really need it this is free. Well, I'm not going to say you don't really need it. It, it. They do have some nice options in there, but if you're just starting out, what have you, you don't have the cash to fork over, get this, start with it. It's free. You're good to go. After that, we're going to move into your photo and image manipulating software. If you don't have the cash for something like Photoshop or, or Corel, that's perfectly fine. Download GIMP. An odd name, but I will tell you, if you're looking at it on the screen, it is one of those uh, pieces of software that they basically went through and stole a whole lot of information from both Corel and Photoshop, put it into their software, and released it for free. Yes, it has some glitches. Yes, it has a couple bugs, but they usually try and keep on those. They do a really good job, and especially for it being, er, for it being free, it's definitely not bad i mean i've had to use this thing on multiple occasions where i couldn't get into adobe or what have you or i was on somebody else's computer they didn't have photoshop they didn't have what i was used to i downloaded gimp used that I was able to do the exact same thing well the only difference was it was free from there we're going to get into editing now this is just going to cover video editors i know again I've mentioned this in the past with other videos. This right here is HitFilm 3 Pro. However, they have HitFilm 3 Express, which, yes, may have a couple restrictions on it, but it is free. It's an editor. It's also a compositor, but we'll get to that in a minute. It's not much different than, you know, some of your other editors out there on the market, such as Final Cut Pro, um, Adobe Premiere Pro, so on and so forth, does a lot of the same things that you need to do, and quite frankly, it's a really nice GUI. There's not a very big learning curve on it. Usually, you can jump in, just take off and run with it. Now, you also have Lightworks, which is a rather powerful editor. However, I will forewarn you, it does have a bit of a learning curve. This is one of the editors that I, I, I came across a while ago, started using it mainly just to get familiar with it, you know, put it on the resume type deal. However, it took me a little while to get used to it because I was used to stuff like Final Cut and Premiere and even HitFilm. This one was a little bit different. It kind of required some YouTube, uh, YouTube tutorials in order to get everything down. Afterwards, I mean, it, like I said, it is a powerful program. It's not something that just needs to be pitched into the you know, corner and never used. It is free. It is one of the most powerful editing programs out there that is free. I mean, just a little food for thought. 
Now we're going to move on to compositing. Now we have three different choices for compositing. One is relatively new to the non-commercial side of things. This is a node-based editor, unlike After Effects and HitFilm 3 Express for you know making or doing composites, which are layer-based. This is node-based. So I will tell you right off, you know, right from the get-go, node-based. Um, compositors if you're not used to you know node based software it takes a little bit of getting used to but once you get to that point to where you're familiar with it you could usually just go through and start breezing through this stuff but it does have a learning curve nuke has recently you know and i'm saying recently i'm saying well, last few months or last several months i can't remember when they did it but they released a non-commercial free version so if you're not doing any commercial work, maybe you're just doing, you know, an indie short film for the YouTubes. If you're doing a little film project where, you know, you're not really charging for admission or anything like that. It's non-commercial. You're not doing it for a company or anything down that road. You're not making money off of it. Well, then you could use it. Granted, I think the license is about a year long. But it gives you, you know, a lot of time to actually sit down and learn the software. I mean, it's not one of those 30-day gimmicks. It gives you a good long time to actually sit down, learn that software, become proficient with it. And I will tell you that Nuke is used by a lot of VFX houses, uh, both in New York and in the L.A. area. Yes, they do use other things from time to time, depending on who it is. However, I will tell you that Nuke is used a lot. From there, I will also bring up Blackmagic Design Fusion. This is another node-based compositor. Kind of just like Nuke, uh, in the sense of how it works. It is a powerful program, but again, just like Nuke, it has a little bit of a learning curve if you're not used to node-based work. This is not a layer system. It's not, you know, standard timeline and all that other good crap. Well, ignore the timeline to an extent, but it is a little bit of a curve. Now, we also have, like I said, Hit, uh, Hit Film 3 Express compositor side. This is just like Adobe After Effects in the sense of it being a layer-based compositor. It has a lot of the little, you know, bells and whistles in it. It is nice software. If you've used layer-based software in the past, you should be able to fall right into it with no problems whatsoever. So if you're used to using something like Adobe After Effects and you don't have the money to pay for, you know, the Creative Cloud Suite, fear not, download HitFilm 3 Express. You could do a lot of stuff that you could with After Effects in HitFilm 3 Express. Now, last and definitely not least, I got a lot of static in one of my previous videos when mentioning 3D software. I know. I left out Blender. Trust me. I heard you. <laughs> I heard several of you. Not that I'm complaining, really. Yes, we purposely left out Blender, but now it is here. A little bit of, you know, redemption. Ta-da! This is, for those of you who are getting into, you know, animations or previs, any kind of 3D work, you don't have to go out there and try and fork out the copious amounts of cash for Cinema 4D or Maya, 3DS Max, you know, Rhino, and the entire list going down the road. This is free. That's right, I said it's free. You could do a lot of stuff inside of Blender. I've seen some really awesome work come out of Blender. We don't use it only because none of us have ever sat down and learned Blender. We've all come from other software backgrounds. So we don't use it. That's the only reason why. We don't use it because, or, you know, it's not because, you know, it's an, an inferior program or anything like that. It's just we don't use it because it's not in our background. It's not in our you know, bag of tricks, not in our repertoire. That's the only reason. If we got to the point where we couldn't afford some of the licenses that, you know, we have, then yeah, 99.999% chance that I'd be going with Blender. 
Now, granted, I know there are some other software out there, like SketchUp kind of allows you to do th some 3D stuff, but Blender kicks the crap out of SketchUp. I'll tell you that right here and now. But, like I said, different strokes for different folks. We have a nice little plethora of software that you can download right now for free. You know, the only restrictions are, you know, usually it's non-commercial. You might have to be hooked up to the internet to verify a license. Uh, you may be restricted down to 720 or even 1080, depending on the software. But other than that, I mean, it's not, it's not bad. You have the entire software package, so to say, for free that you can all download. You can go through whether you're doing photos, you know, you're doing photography instead of videography. That's fine. If you're doing videography or cinematography, that's fine too. Even if you're just writing. You know, you have a bunch of ideas rolling around in your head and all you want to do is write. You don't want to really want to make the film. You just want to write it. That's fine too. Or maybe, you know, you want to get into animations. You want to eventually go work for DreamWorks or Pixar or, you know, Disney or any one of those nice, wonderful punk companies out on the market. You want to make video games, so on and so forth. Definitely, definitely a great way to learn without spending any cash. But that's about all I have. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, please, by all means, put them in the comment box below. That's what it's there for. Please don't just give it a thumbs down and leave nothing in the feedback section. I hate that. It gives me no clue on what I should do differently. You know, I understand the thumbs up, the thumbs down, hey, and that's perfectly fine. You either like it or you don't. I got that. But if you don't like it because I left something out or I forgot something, by all means, let me know. I can't, you know, change. I can't bring you some of the stuff that you may want to see if I have no clue what you want. If you want to see, you know, something demoed or you want to see a piece of software, you want to piece, uh, see a piece of hardware, if you want me to give my two cents on a piece of equipment, whatever the case may be, let me know. Use that comment box for good. Put it to its test. Put it to its metal. Use it for what it's there for. But as I was saying, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, concern, uh, concerns, or comments, feel free to drop them in the comment box below. And always, always, always try and get your ideas out there. Don't let anybody talk you down. Don't let anybody persuade you out of getting in, you know, into something creative. Use the creativity for everything that it's there for, man. If you have that creative bug, run with it. Don't let anybody tell you no. But for now, I think this is all I'm going to be doing for today. Actually, you know what? I might pop open Origin and do a couple of Twitch streams with uh, you know, Battlefield 4, maybe. You never know. But for now, that's all I have, and I will see you guys next time.